Singapore is a country located in Southeast Asia with a total land of only 722.5 km2 and an estimated population of over 5 million. According to the UNESCO, it has the highest urban population in Southeast Asia with 100% of its population living in urban areas. The Republic of Singapore's politics are in the form of parliamentary representative democratic republic in which the president, Halima Yaakob, is the head of state, while the prime minister, Lee Hsien Long, is the head of the government. Singapore is a small state with a large urban population, which makes the population density quite high. Therefore, land is extremely limited and precious to them. Most countries with larger areas might have separate spaces for city and countryside, but Singapore needs to fit everything into city-sized space. They need to fit in all their infrastructural needs while avoiding overcrowding. In addition, they are also lack in natural resources, which requires them to take a long-term approach for their urban planning and development. Therefore, you will find lots of sustainable and integrated urban solutions that has been implemented to Singapore. This includes water management, waste and energy management, infrastructure development, and others. In short, their approach is classified into three key principles. The first one is long-term and integrated planning, second is the cost efficiency and practicality, and third is the flexibility and the need to adapt to new technologies and environmental changes. Here are some urban plannings that Singapore has adapted in different types of sectors. Since Singapore lacks in natural resources, it uses advanced membrane technologies to produce new water, which is an ultra-clean and high-grade reclaimed water. The sewerage system also manages Singapore's water resources for the next century. Its 48 kilometers long deep tunnel also operates purely on gravity, which is cost-effective and frees up prime land. Singapore also has a spring desalination plant, which is one of the largest and most energy efficient in the world. It uses an advanced pre-treatment process that includes the largest in-filter dissolved air flotation system in the world. Singapore also has a green and extensive streetscape, with it being one of the few countries that practices extensive streetscaping. This contributes to the aesthetic pleasure of the environment and reduces air pollution from vehicles. The National Library Building in Singapore is also an internationally acclaimed green building. There are various innovative green features for energy efficiency including uses of bioclimatic vegetation and landscaping to improve the indoor thermal environment. There is also a lighting control system that switches off lighting when there is sufficient natural light to brighten the building interior. It even uses rain sensors for its automatic irrigation system for rooftop gardens. DZEP at DC Academy is also Singapore's first zero energy building, which is also the test bed for the new green building technologies. The public transportation system in Singapore is people-centered and covered walkways to buses and mass rapid transit systems. It is also user-friendly and technically intelligent. The public housing is mostly designed in the forms of apartments as it conserves land for more important purposes. Singapore also has sustainable transportation such as the green electric vehicles. It was Southeast Asia's first diesel-electric hybrid bus and the world's first hybrid hydraulic drive-enhanced port prime mover. These transportations are fuel-efficient, emission-responsible, and saves cost. The Semakau Landfill is a unique and long-term solution for waste management. It is a growing ecosystem of plant and marine life which is even available for nature-related recreational activities. Singapore also has a development known as the Waste to Energy Plants. Here, advanced technologies are used to treat affluence. Singapore, like many other countries in the world, are also experiencing a lot of urban problems. However, they were able to overcome it with the help of urban planning. Even with a country as developed as Singapore, they still need to keep innovating and readjusting in order to cope with the current situation.